Okay, we're going to run Mosaic to New Raster to join our four LiDAR data tiles into one. So you can search for and open Mosaic to New Raster, and then you add your tiles one at a time from the drop down. Name the output location. I'm choosing this merged LiDAR folder, name it. That's going to be that. Um, for the spatial reference, so where do we learn about things like uh, what the spatial reference for this raster should be, what the pixel type is, the number of bands, etc. Go look in the properties. So uh, right here, we can see the data source. The raster information shows us the cell size. Because it's LiDAR, it's, this is half meter LiDAR data. Um, it is 32-bit floating point. This is the, um, the amount of data that the raster can store per cell. And then let's check to see if it's got a spatial reference. And it does. And this is an appropriate one for the region, so we'll go ahead and use the same one. We can just borrow that in the tool. So the spatial reference, we can drop down and say, let's just go ahead and use the same one from one of the tiles. So it's kind of a shortcut. This needs to be changed to 32-bit float. The cell size, we can leave it as is, but I like to enforce that. Um, if you're projecting a raster, um, it might come in with a really funky um, cell size. Um, for example, the 10 meter, DE, uh, 10 meter DEMs from the USGS will come in just under 10 meters at like 9.8 blah, 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 blah meters. And you can round that here to a nice, simple cell size. It's a one band raster. It's just storing elevation data. And then we can leave these as is. Uh, it doesn't like how long this is. I was afraid of that. Now we have one tile that should mirror the minimum and maximum um, of the four data sets we put in. So here, our, uh, this tile had the lowest maximum. Uh, this guy here, 40, or sorry, 34, 25 meters of elevation is the highest max, so that should be here. Uh, it's not because I uh, rounded these over in the symbology. I rounded it up. You can see here 34, 22.96 is our same maximum here, and the same is going to be the true for the minimum value. It'll be the minimum between these four. And now we can apply the same color ramp, and instead of having that choppy look, it's all one. One data set. There you go.